And I guess as we begin to talk about the before uh, part of the FDA inspection, um, maybe share with us, um, I, I'm sure one of the biggest questions people probably have is how often will the FDA come to inspect me if I'm a manufacturer? Right, right. And I get asked that a lot. Um, their schedule is developed on a yearly basis. Um, they really like to hit, if you're get, having a general GMP inspection, um, they like to hit manufacturers once every two years. Now, obviously, they occasionally get delayed, um, but a general GMP inspection, you can expect about every two years. And how, um, how do they decide who they're going to inspect, kind of in what order? Like, is there any sort of um, determination used as far as who and when? Right, right. It's not just the flip of the quarter, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they um, determine inspection priorities. Um, like I mentioned, they put together their inspection um, kind of planning at the beginning of the year, um, just like we do in industry. Um, and they base it on risk. So um, what might um, prioritize your risk um, as a manufacturer or as an FDA registered facility? Um, risk level could be based on previous inspections. If you had um, a lot of inspection findings or those inspection findings were high priority or critical inspection findings. Um, if you've had a lot of customer complaints or complaints to the FDA um, from either industry or customers, um, things such as that, or if you, the product you make is a higher risk product, so um, let's say if you're in the pharmaceutical industry, maybe you make an opioid or um, some other um, more potent drug product. Um, or if you're in the medical device industry, maybe you make an implantable or something else a little more critical. Those types of things can elevate your risk as well. <laughs> 